Okay, now he's recording. See the bottom. Okay, go ahead. You're well, that's a good question, Jay, and yeah. here's the answer. Okay. I found out years ago when I was, actually it wasn't that long ago, I found it over the internet. I used to have all this fascination with pirates. And I was thinking, why would I have that? Most of my family was never anywhere near the Caribbean. But as it should happen, when I used to go to Sligo during the summer with my father and my family, he'd send me out into the streets and say, go play with your cousins. None of them were really my cousins. But we'd go out and we would take homemade swords and things like that, and we'd play pirates. Uh -huh. And we'd actually go out to the industrial docks, which is very dangerous, and we'd play pirates in there. And we'd get carried away, because usually the person who got cut was the person holding the weapon, because they're homemade. Uh -huh. And of course, we'd never actually go back to get, like, you know, band-aids or anything like that. But then, a couple years ago, I found out that my father's mother's family, the O'Flaherty's, were for several centuries were independent seafaring entrepreneurs. Okay. Who were In other words, pirates. Well, they were into ship acquisition. Uh huh. Yeah. Sure. It was okay. high stakes venture capital. Okay. All plenty of hostile takeovers. Okay. <laughs> but Jay, they had an excellent employee profit share program. So I knew that's where the instinctual thing about becoming who I always was, mm -hmm. that your ancestors speak for us. I mean, you could just, you could feel them in right. the air screaming, yeah, don't go home, go out there. And I felt such a kinship. In fact, I even have a Facebook page called Swashbuckling Romanticism. Oh, wow. Because I think it's important. Okay. You should, you should envelop whatever you have as you come with, because it's part of you. So how does your pirate background affect your living now? How does how it manifest in who you are now? Well, I don't seem to get too much bounty right now. So uh -huh. I think it's kind of more of a, a novelty as opposed to a financial advantage. Okay. But I am looking. Do you think your appearance or your looks affect by your pirate and ancestry? you think it comes down to how you dress and how you look and how you, you're suave? I think I make a pretty good pirate in a business suit. Okay. But I think partly it's because you don't expect it from someone in a business suit. Mm -hmm. And how does uh, being um, historically involved with uh, ancestors who are pirates help the consumer movement at this point in time in our history? I think it's pretty rampant at this point. Does the many of many of work being many of the. Consumer survivors are also pirate ends. Oh, those kind of consumers. I thought you meant like, um, you know, uh, uh, grand openings and uh, uh, half-price sales, because they're no, pretty I'm, pirate I'm, there. No, I'm talking about our movement. How does, how does your background impact our movement? I think it opens the channels to other possibilities. Okay. That we always tend to find that very narrow norm. And the reality is we've existed in a lot of different ways right. that were perfectly acceptable. Exactly. Yes, great questions, Jay. Okay, well, thank you. I can I think tell I, you're from Oakland. You can ask that good questions. I, I, I've been uh, around a while, so I try and come up with some things. That was good. Well, thank you very much. My pleasure. Okay. How long do we take? I don't know. Have you turned it off yet?